Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Moo here. Uh, the Insta 361 X was just announced or released, shall we say, and uh, I was really excited about it. It was actually going for about $400, which is an excellent price point. But to the point, there's one thing wrong with the Insta 361 X. I love the Insta 361. This is the one I have right here. It was roughly around three or $400 at the time it was released. Insta 361 X, uh, is now released at 400 which is an absolute amazing deal for what it can do but the one problem the one problem with it is the audio is crap it is basically crap on a stick the uh they they just didn't focus at all on the audio and if you see some early samples of some of these reviews for youtubers that have had it for about two weeks or so since before release you will hear that one, they either don't show much of the audio, two, or they show some examples of it and, and you can basically hear how muffled and bad it is compared to some other alternatives. One of my favorite is of course the GoPro Fusion and uh, the GoPro Fusion is still my choice. The second major thing is I find that the GoPro Fusion color and uh, fidelity seems to be better even though the Insta 361 X has technically a higher resolution. All the other things really matter. However, the GoPro Fusion is $600 and this is only $400. So if audio is gonna be a major thing for you when you're shooting 360 videos, keep that in mind. And you might wanna consider skipping into 361X for that. However, everything else, literally just about everything else, the Insta 361X is better than the GoPro Fusion, including the user interface, the editing capabilities that you can do directly from your smartphone, uh, the ease of use of the different tools that Insta 361 has for the One X and the One Series. The flow state st stabilization is very impressive except in low light, which is actually really kind of jumpy. But this is actually true of all the other 360 cameras that actually have similar type of flow state uh, stabilization, including the Rilo, the GoPro Fusion, but it just seems like the low light capability of the Insta 361 X is not as good. All right, so that's my point. That is why the Insta 361 is not going, one X is not gonna be my number one recommendation or camera. I'd, I'd rather spend the extra 200 at this point to get the GoPro Fusion. All right, now again, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies at all. This is just what I was, um, after viewing um, some of the videos of these creators that actually had the Insta 361 X and was able to share with you some actual footage and some reviews. Um, I think I watched a good 40 minutes of it. Uh, you know, you got Hugh Ho, you got uh, Potato Jet. You should check out their channels if you want to go really in depth in that on a uh, a, a, an actual production version of the Insta 361 X, you should go ahead and check those out. I just wanted to get that straight to the point. Uh, if you didn't know about the Insta 361 X though, everything else about it I think is really awesome. They changed the form factor so it's really much like, like a Theta 10. They've introduced some other really cool things about it including a uh, an accessory attachment that does bullet time. I used that for bullet time on my Insta 361, so that's pretty unique. And they now also, um, upping their game, they've introduced something where you can just stick your 360 camera inside this throwable, like football type uh, airplane type of thing, where it won't damage your lens, and just toss it and have it record bullet time while it's flying in the air. There's nothing else like it uh, on the market in this price range, not even close. Although I don't think the accessory is available for purchase right now, um, you can go ahead and watch the video. Let's go ahead and take a look at that together. It's, it's, the let's take a look. The Insta 361S is a new kind of camera. It shoots every moment from every angle. In stunning 5.7K and 18 by... See, that footage looks pretty darn amazing and it's you know 5.7k which definitely blows away the 4k for some strange reason the flow state stabilization is really smooth when you have the uh the lighting for it and you know the difference is night and day without a doubt you know this stabilization is definitely game changing and on top of that you can reframe and recrop you capture everything and you just reframe or recrop it. 
the invisible selfie stick. I'm not sure if that's included in uh, in the basic camera only package. I think it's, it's included in some of the other packages. Nothing particularly special about that. This looks really cool. This is very similar to what something like the GoPro Hero 7 was doing, but now this captures full on 360, so you can really time shift and change it. Basically what they're saying, shoot first and point it later to the recording. Very impressive. Smart track I haven't played a whole lot with, but looks like they've also further up their game on that. This is the bullet time thing. This is fun. It's kind of gimmicky, but there's nothing else quite like it. It's really fun to do. I actually carry the actual bullet time stick with me uh, wherever I go to any new place. Now this, this thing, this thing, the drift shot. Look at that. So the way this works, and you know, at, at first I was thinking, well, how are they going to do it? without damaging the the uh, the lenses on there, right? So you see how this screws in right here? This piece right here and this angle here prevents it from, for the most part, if you hit any flat surfaces, from damaging the uh, lens as long as the unit doesn't fall out. And you see you got the indentation over here to make sure that it doesn't move. And then you lock that in place. Now if you toss it and you throw it, and it hits like a concrete surface or some other uh, relatively flat surface isn't going to damage your lens. Where you might have problems is if you toss this in a really rocky area where the angle just happens to hit the rock and you know you can damage your lens. Uh, so this would be pretty interesting to figure out to see if people don't see the connection there between the two and actually end up damaging uh, their lenses and, and damaging the Insta 361. So this is pretty much mostly for use in hard flat surfaces stay away from anything that is angular at all but look at the results it might actually be worthwhile i mean for 400 dollars plus this accessory thing called the drift shot i mean see look you toss that and you know you're, you're less likely to hit the lens but there is a chance that you could hit the lens on one of these angular pieces so you know be a little bit careful in tossing that around but I mean, these shots are very, they look really cinematic, Hollywood-like, if you will. And I think that is definitely, as, as they say in the ad here, uh, I'd say it's game-changing. Definitely game-changing. I imagine other companies will go ahead and try to copy what uh, Insta 361 has done really well here. Another point is that 4K, you can shoot at 50 frames per second, so you get a little bit of slow-mo in there. That is very, very beneficial. And, you know, the processing of all this is actually much faster than the GoPro Fusion, right? So, like I said, everything else uh, it is better than my pick, which is the GoPro Fusion. Just everything else. But the very important parts is that it doesn't have that spatial audio. Audio is really bad. I just reminds me of the DJI Osmo, which is just ridiculously bad. All right, so if you're interested in purchasing this, I'll have links down below. Uh, it is now only directly available from Insta 361, however. Um, but if it shows up on Amazon, you know the link down below will definitely take you there. And at $400, I think it's a it's a pretty solid deal for what you get. But not for me. I want the best quality. I don't mind uh, processing like forever on my computer to get that highest quality that also includes usable sound. All right. Thanks for watching. This is just uh, my take on the Insta 361 X, something that I don't have yet. It's just uh, my analysis of the actual camera based on all the other previews and the footage that I've seen so far. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.